ever wondered what a clause is in the English grammar and its importance, especially for Ilt's aspirants? Well, let's demystify it. A clause, simply put, is a group of words that contains both a subject and a verb. There are two types of clauses, independent, which can stand alone as a sentence, and dependent, which cannot. These are the essential building blocks to construct meaningful sentences, providing structure and clarity. So, next time you're crafting a sentence, remember this. Remember a clause is a group of words with a subject and a verb, and it's the building block of any sentence. Now how do these clauses come together to form a sentence structure? Imagine clauses as building blocks. They come together, much like bricks, to form the structure of a sentence. Now there are two types of clauses, independent, which can stand alone as a sentence, and dependent, which can't. They need a buddy to make sense. Think of the three main types of sentence structures as a progression. We start with the simple, a single independent clause. Moving up, we have the compound structure, where we join two independent clauses. And finally, the complex sentence structure, our piece de resistance, which combines an independent clause with one or more dependent clauses. So, a sentence's structure is all about how we arrange clauses, whether they're independent or dependent. But what exactly is a complex sentence and how can it boost your ILT score? Let's dive in. A complex sentence is a little like a mini-story. It consists of one independent clause, that's a complete thought that can stand alone, and at least one dependent clause, which is a fragment that relies on the rest of the sentence to make sense. Imagine you're painting a picture with words. The independent clause is the main subject, while the dependent clause adds depth and detail. It's this intricate interplay, this dance of clauses, that makes your writing more engaging and showcases your language proficiency. And in the world of ILTS, that's key. The more you can demonstrate your command of complex sentences, the higher your writing score can climb. In essence, complex sentences are your secret weapon for showcasing your English language proficiency in your ILTS writing. So, we've covered clauses and sentences. But what about phrases? Those little groups of words that add flavor to our language. Phrases are like the supporting actors in the grand play of grammar. They work together, but don't necessarily have a subject and verb. Now, there are different types of phrases that you can use to add detail and variety to your sentences. First, we have noun phrases, which, as the name suggests, center around a noun. Verb phrases, on the other hand, revolve around a verb. Then we have adjectival and adverbial phrases that describe a noun and verb respectively. Lastly, we have prepositional phrases which begin with a preposition and end with a noun, pronoun, or noun phrase. Each type of phrase plays a unique role, adding a layer of complexity and richness to your sentences. In short, phrases are the spice that adds variety and detail to your sentences, helping you to express your thoughts more effectively.